So I'm telling you that you don't need to feel a certain way. And however you feel, it doesn't matter. And if you get what I'm saying, then you will connect with and apply it. You will connect with the joy that is behind how you feel. And this was the whole point of this video, is to say that the joy that I speak about, the joy that casts no shadow, the peace that passes understanding, is not a feeling in the regular sense that you think of it. It's not, I have to feel good or something. It's seeing through anything, any experience in this play, dream, movie, that it doesn't define you. It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't define you. It doesn't confine you. It's just a daydream that you're having of what it would be like to be separate. Yeah, sometimes it'll feel good and sometimes it'll feel bad because the, the world of separateness is a world of duality. Yeah, but when it feels bad, it won't feel bad to you anymore if you see what I'm saying. Because it feels bad because you give it a lot of meaning. You interpret it. You judge it. You think something's wrong. And I'm telling you, there's nothing wrong. It, there's no way that this has to appear. There's nothing needs to happen for you to be free. It doesn't. Your feelings don't have to change. Just stop giving it all meaning. And the real meaning will then reveal itself to you. Hey friends, today I want to talk about something that is not for everyone. Um, I th think it's still worth talking about. If it's for you, it'll make sense and it'll resonate and when you apply it, it will bring you a lot of relief and maybe, maybe you laugh sort of at the cosmic joke. And if it doesn't resonate for you, then move on to whatever does resonate for you and you don't need to listen to this to me and i cheer you on like your greatest cheerleader on your way to peace and light so whatever works for you all right it doesn't have to be this this isn't for everyone like i said so what i want to talk about today we have to start with the premise that you understand for those who understand that this isn't real. Nothing here is real. Really, all this world is, all this universe is, is a play of separation in the mind or consciousness of what we really are, which we could call God or anything of that nature, spirit, beingness, oneness. Now, if none of this is really real, then... Our thoughts have no meaning. Our thoughts are just reacting to what is, to what appears to happen, and then judging it, interpreting it, maybe fearing it, and then planning how to defend against it. Uh, you know, a lot of that planning is called worrying, worrying for the future. Or if that happened to them, ooh, what if, if, what if, what if it happens to me? Then I have to plan something to make sure it won't happen. And, all this planning is, is like A Course in Miracles says it's a form of defense, right? It says a healed mind does not plan. It doesn't mean that you... It's always, it's always weird that I even have to mention this, but I always have to say for the mind that goes to the place, well, what does that mean? I don't plan. Did I just sit on the couch all day? No, it means that something else moves you that isn't fear, <laughs> that isn't worry, you know? And uh, usually that would be joy. So it's possible to move not out of fear, but out of joy, out of trust, out of what feels right, out of what feels aligned, you know? So it doesn't have to be moving out of defending and ensuring your future or whatever the next moment to make sure everything's going to be okay. Like if you see that this is not real, you know you're safe. No harm can come to anybody. And if you're safe, you can relax. And you can just watch the show, which is just a play of what if, what if oneness actually experienced separation? What would that look like? Boom, here it is right in front of you. Separate forms, differences. Some people have more, some people have less. 
Some people are abusers, some people are victims. Um, some people are powerful, some are weak. All these differences, and I could go on and on and on and on. Some are on the spiritual level uh, higher, some are lower, some are star seeds, some are not star seeds, some are this, some are that, blah, 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 blah. We all want to belong to something. We all de define ourselves in all these different ways, but really what we are is, is one. We're just oneness. We belong to God, to the godliness that we are, that divinity. That's us. That's what we are. There's only one of us. There's only one. Yeah? And so what you see in another, you'll see in yourself. So whatever you withhold from another, you actually withhold from yourself. So if you refuse to love another, that's where you refuse to love yourself. You, you want to stay separate because love will make it all one. If you love all, if you give all, if you see everyone as deserving of everything, you want them to have everything. You would transcend completely the, the level of form if you did that. You would see that everyone is whole and does have everything. That, that's what wholeness means, is everything. Everyone is whole and complete um, and is not the role they seem to play in this world where they either have a lot or have a little or whatever it is because we all have it all. We all are it all and only that's true. Everything else your eyes show you is just the game of separation, of differences, of more and less, above, below, victim, abuser, blah, 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 all these things. And you really, really feel like you need to do something about this show. And what I'm telling you is if it's not real, then all of your thoughts about it are just reactions to a movie that isn't really, it's a dream. It's a movie. It's not reality. Right? And, and why I say this is not for everyone, and this isn't even yet the point that I wanted to make. I want to make a point about your feelings, not about your thoughts. But the reason this is not for everyone is because for some it's just, it's just going to sound like very cold. Like, but we need to do something about the world. And what I'm saying is you need to do something about your thoughts about the world, about your reactivity. about your judgments, about your condemnations, about your blame, about your perception of enemies, about your perception of harm, of threat, of attack, of the need to defend, of the need to struggle, and the need to fight. So I'm talking to, frankly, those who are very advanced and are ready to see that the struggle is, is not necessary, even the struggle to awaken. It's you can do it that way as though you have to overcome something but if you simply see that that something that you think you need to overcome whether you understand that it's not outside and it's only in your mind or whether you still think it is outside of you it's the world doing something to you whatever that something is to you that you think you need to overcome it's not real if you can see that, then what are you struggling with? What are you struggling against? So thoughts, ego thoughts come into your mind telling you all kinds of things. Hate thoughts, attack thoughts, blame thoughts, condemnation thoughts, guilt thoughts, shame thoughts, sin, thoughts that make you think you're a sinner. That's what I mean by sinful thoughts. Not, not Nothing you can think can really affect your true nature. So there is no sin. Even your most sinful thought is doesn't make a difference to the radiant being that is what we all are. None of it's real. None of it can touch what we are. So all of that can be simply laid aside because all of those thoughts don't mean anything. They're reacting to an illusion. And the point that I wanted to get to is that if you can accept that, then even how you feel doesn't mean anything. We're so struggling and striving all the time to feel a certain way. We put so much work into that. So much work. So much work. All the Everything we do is to feel good. 
it's odd to see that if my thoughts aren't real, they're just reactions to, to, to the movie, then what are my feelings? Yeah. My feelings are also a part of the movie, just like my thoughts are. So when I say your thoughts are a reaction to the movie, what that means is that it's, it's a reaction that's happening within the movie still. Your thoughts are part, of, are part of the movie. You're not standing outside the movie thinking about it. You, the you that's standing there looking at stuff and judging it, is a, part, is a character in the movie with movie thoughts. And so the feelings, too, are part of the movie. And so they don't matter. Nothing matters. And in Hebrew, when you say nothing matters... It means that it doesn't make a difference. That's, that's the direct translation of the Hebrew way of saying it doesn't matter. It means it doesn't make a difference. And what I love about that is that there are no differences. You see male, you see female, you see age, you know, old, young, you see race, you see maybe good and evil and this and that and the other. And I tell you, if it's all one, where are all the differences? If it's all one, it's all the same. So you're believing something that isn't real. It's either one or it's not. But you can't serve two masters, as the Bible says. You can't see oneness and see separation simultaneously. You have to make a commitment, a whole one. Which, which one will set you free, the truth or the lie? Separation is the lie no matter how much your ego tries to convince you it's real. Through pain through look at the harm done, through look at the victims, through... I'm telling you, grace is what's real. Love is what's real. And what we see outside is simply the projection of our own fear. Our attack thoughts, our hate thoughts, our condemnation, our blame. These attacks, this fear, it becomes events in the world. We're having oneness is having a bad dream. You don't go out and change the dream. You change the mind of the dreamer. So what I'm telling you is you, you change the way that you respond to it all. Your thoughts, your feelings, whatever's happening out there, you stop making it real. And it's pretty amazing to realize that even how you feel at the end of the day doesn't matter. And that's the happiness that is behind it all that doesn't depend on how you feel here because however you feel in the movie is still just a movie feeling so that response that I'm talking about to the feelings to the thoughts to whatever it is that you perceive seemingly out there which is never out there it's in the it's in the consciousness in the mind of the oneness that's dreaming there's no out there there's nothing outside oneness so all of those things, when I'm talking about the response to them, that response is you as oneness, not as the character anymore, realizing that you have the freedom to be the happiness that you've always been, regardless of how you feel or don't feel, of what happens or doesn't happen, in spite of it all, not never because. So this isn't a stance of ego that goes, ah, it doesn't matter, I don't care. It's not from that level. It's from the level of what or who you truly are. Yeah? You stop, you stop buying into this. You stop reacting to it. You enjoy it instead. That's what happens when it's like watching a movie. You enjoy it. You're... you're you're watching an impossible movie. You're watching something that could never be separation with these gangs on the, that side and those gangs on this side and they're manipulating them and, and th these people are trying to have power over these people and they're trying to get something from those people. It's all a show of lack, incompleteness, absence of wholeness, lack of freedom, 
lack of peace, separation, competition, trying to get something from each other to be complete, to find the love that we are again, and the happiness and the joy and the freedom. Maybe, maybe if I have power over you, maybe if I have power over enough of you, I'll find it. Maybe if I manipulate you enough, I'll find it. Maybe if I get you to do what I want you to do, I'll find it. Maybe if I compete and play in the rat race and win over everybody, I'll find it. You can never find it by any thought that is coming from separateness. You'll never find it by beating down someone else and getting to the top because you've done that. You'll never find it by competing. You'll never find it by condemning. You'll never find it by fighting, by blaming, by hating, by seeing an enemy anywhere. You always find it by realizing that it's up to you, not to the dream, not to anything outside, which doesn't really exist. There's nothing outside. It's not up to anything but yourself, whether you'll be at peace or not. And the way I'm telling you to be at peace is your thoughts don't mean shit. The way you feel doesn't mean shit. The only meaning that it has, the only value it has for you is in certain situations to tell you that something feels off and out of alignment, so you listen to that. And something feels right and in alignment, so you listen to that. But I'm talking about in terms of the feelings that, that the ego says you should be feeling. You want to be feeling a certain way. You have to be feeling a certain way. And I'm telling you that if you don't care about that, about your ego's ideals of how you should be feeling all the time, and you don't use that to make you feel inadequate, um, you don't use that to feel like you're not what you are because you're not feeling the way that you think you're supposed to be feeling. That's what I'm talking about more. If you stop using that, that your feelings when you don't feel as great as you think you're supposed to feel or whatever, and you stop giving that meaning, then you just are in the experience. There's just the experience of that feeling and there's nothing wrong with it because it, how could there be something wrong with something that isn't even real? So it feels the way it feels. So what? It's part of the movie. You're just watching the movie. Your thoughts and your feelings are part of the movie. You're just watching the movie. You're just watching this this divinity that we are daydreaming. What would it be like to be separate? It's going to wake up from it. Don't worry. It will. <laughs> it already has. There's no time really. Right? So it's just, it's just a projection. You're just watching this idea play out, but it harms nobody, I promise you. It looks like it does. That's how it makes its, itself seem very real, by, by fear, harm, something's gone wrong. Nothing's gone wrong, nothing. Oneness is still whole and complete. You are that, you are the oneness, still whole and complete just as you are. So I'm telling you that you don't need to feel a certain way and however you feel doesn't matter. And if you get what I'm saying, then you will connect with and apply it. You will connect with the joy that is behind how you feel. And this was the whole point of this video, is to say that the joy that I speak about, the joy that casts no shadow, the peace that passes understanding, is not a feeling in the regular sense that you think of it. It's not, I have to feel good or something. It's seeing through anything, any experience in this play, dream, movie, that it doesn't define you. It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't define you. It doesn't confine you. It's just a daydream that you're having of what it would be like to be separate. Yeah. Sometimes it'll feel good and sometimes it'll feel bad because the, the world of separateness is a world of duality. Yeah, But when it feels bad, it won't feel bad to you anymore if you see what I'm saying. Because it feels bad because you give it a lot of meaning. You interpret it. You judge it. You think something's wrong. And I'm telling you, there's nothing wrong. It, there's no way that this has to appear. 
there's nothing needs to happen for you to be free. It doesn't, your feelings don't have to change. You just stop giving it all meaning. And the real meaning will then reveal itself to you. The, the radiance of, of love. That which we really are, that creative power that's dreaming all of this. You'll see that that's what's happening, is all of this is just the creative power that we are playing out of total freedom. And that total freedom is love. Love is just... allowing us to be what we want to be. So love is freedom. Okay. I love you.